Uh, Mr. O'Brien, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you for having me on. Uh, we recently got to know about a uh, little bit more details about the uh, Ukraine uh, victory plan. Yeah. And there are several points, several lines uh, we could know about them, including uh, uh, joining uh, NATO, providing Ukraine with long-range weapons, and etc. Overall, how do you see this plan? Is it realistic? So we've always said nothing about Ukraine except with Ukraine. And I think it's a really constructive contribution to our discussions with Ukraine about the next steps. So we want Ukraine to win. We want Ukraine to enter 2025 clearly prepared to continue fighting effectively. I think Russia needs to know that Ukraine will remain on the battlefield for that time. And the plan is a good contribution to the discussion on how to achieve that because that's the only way that we will see Russia begin to consider the possibility of peace. So this is the path to get us to peace, one that is sustainable and just, but it requires that Ukraine be ready to fight. Now you mentioned specific elements. Those are all a part of a whole. And I think what people should expect is for the next few weeks, we'll have intensive conversations about exactly what Ukraine needs to move forward in the way that President Zelensky's outlined. And, and so there'll be a, a little bit of time before you start to see a comprehensive response. And I, I wouldn't get too focused on just one element rather than another, um, because it's all a part of making sure Ukraine's well equipped for 2025. So you see that war will continue next year? I, well, look, President Putin has shown no sign that he wants to stop. President Zelensky has said publicly that he's prepared to have discussions with Russia. Uh, all we get from Russia is occasional propaganda. Um, and we know that the terms of the peace that Russia would want reflect none of the desires of the Ukrainian people. So this, I think it will be Russia that will decide whether the war continues. The only hope we have of not con having the war continue is for Ukraine to be prepared at the start of the year to go through the full year. And that's a lot of our work in the next few months. Why United States is not willing to provide uh, uh, Ukraine with long-range weapons? Well, I mean, we have. It's a matter of what, what needs to happen now for Ukraine to succeed. So Ukraine has managed a very effective long-range fires campaign that's made Crimea a, a much less effective platform for attacking Ukraine. So that's happened already. Now we're in a discussion of what needs to happen in this next phase of the war, where the fighting is in Donetsk in the east and up around the Kursk salient where Ukraine has, has moved into Russia. And that's a different conversation. So this is very fresh. I mean, we, we're talking to the Ukrainians always, but the victory plan was just presented to the Ukrainian people two days ago. It was presented to the EU and NATO just yesterday. So this is a, a, an area we'll do a lot of work over the next weeks to see what makes sense. Is it uh, this... Um um, the, the feeling that it might escalate the conflict uh, in, in, in United States governments and Congress. Uh, do you really believe that if uh, Ukraine would be provided with stronger uh, military support and could target uh, objects in Russia, that might escalate the conflict? I think there are always two things that are going on. Um, we do want to make clear to Russia that what it is doing will be a strategic failure and, and that Ukraine will win. We are also trying to make clear to Russia that we do not want this to escalate into a, a larger war. The path we've chosen is to be very transparent and very focused in the support we provide to Ukraine. It's enough for Ukraine so it can use it well and um, can be prepare to take back its territory. That's why we had the, the strategy in Crimea. And now we're having the same discussion about uh, in the East. And are exactly what gets provided changes with Ukraine's needs and capabilities. 
um, and we'll continue that discussion. Ultimately, President Biden will decide exactly what's provided for what purposes. Um, but in the meantime, and this is the other bit, we're, we're very focused on um, making sure that Ukraine has what it needs to defend well. So just in the last two weeks, we've announced two very significant packages of assistance to Ukraine that we think will help to tilt the balance on the battlefield. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much.